Hey, what's up, y'all? This is just a fun video I decided to do because if you go to the Arch website, matter of fact, I click here and um, go over and get rid of all of these ads. I was writing an Under Armour article, which is why you see all the Under Armour ads. And you go to Arch Auto, you will see that I've been working on developing content around the automobile industry. And that's because, man, sneakers and cars and food, all of these different categories, everything is commingled, man. If you don't cover all of it, if you don't talk about all of it, are you really living life? I don't think so. Well, I was like, you know what? I want to go and look at, I've had two Mustangs in my life. I had a regular LX and then I had a 5.0 convertible, 93 Limited, and I need to put a picture in here so you can see it was convertible with the white rims, white leather seats. And I got rid of it, which was the dumbest thing I ever did in my life. And every since I could remember, I've been popping my collar. No, I've been wanting a Mustang. And finally, I heard about the Dark Horse. Now, am I going to get one? Probably not. Um, it just doesn't fit my life right now. But I can definitely go and build and price one, can I? Uh, now, so that's what I'm doing. If you look over here to my side, you'll see me building, and I don't even mind putting this information in. Booyah. I want to build a dark horse. So, how do I go across and see it? Dark horse premium. Of course, that's what I'm going to build. It's a dark horse premium. Now, my 93 5.0 was white. So I'm going with white. Immediately I start getting excited here because I love the stripe on the on the hood. But let me fix that. Uh do I want you know what? I'm going to definitely go with the racing stripe and I'm going to go with the high gloss shadow black with pattern. If you guys you guys can do this yourself, you don't even have to sit around and kind of, you know, look at me do this. But if you're having fun with it like I am, then hey, why not? Let me go back and make sure I got my hood stripe, same color. And it ain't tarnished dark guns. Well, it was five thousand, but no price change. Do you want to continue? Yes. It says a hood stripe. So the hood stripe is not the same as. And that's not the outside. That's the inside. I'm not going to do the inside yet. So let me go back to the start so I can see the hood stripe. And make sure I got exactly what I want. So I want to see the racing stripe and see the difference. Yes. All right. The racing stripe. Definitely the racing stripe. Powertrain 5.0, of course. The oh my gosh, a 10 speed select shift automatic transmission. No, I know how to drive a stick. You may not know how to drive a stick, but I know how to drive a stick. I'm definitely getting the Tremec six speed manual transmission because I love driving. I'm not going to say that. I sound like Dwight Howard. All right, um, let's keep rolling to the axle ratio manual. It's included 3.55 limited slip. I'm sticking with the 3.73. The Dark Horse Security Package. Dark Horse Appearance Package. You gotta add the Appearance Package. You know what I'm saying? Yes, add it. I don't care if it's 1500 Close that back up. Dark Horse Handling Package. Of course you add the Dark Horse Handling Package because I want it to drive. When I do take it to a track, I want it to drive the way it's supposed to drive. Exterior wheels. Nah, I'm definitely going with these carbon fiber wheels. And let's see. I'm going with... Okay, it did the wheels. It did it automatically. Full indoor vehicle cover, black. What? Indoor vehicle? I don't need that. Performance rear spoiler. So that with gurney flap, that's included. Wheel locking kit. Remote start. We won't worry about all of these things. Oh my gosh, brake calipers. Unique brake calipers. You get all of these different things, so you really can't change anything. All right. So here's the thing. When you get the package for the Dark Horse Deluxe, 
it looks like it only comes in one color. So although I, the Vapor Blue Metallic, although I chose white initially because one, I like white cars, I'm gonna change the color and let's see if what happens here. All right, it takes off the Dark Horse Appearance Package. It takes off the $1,500 and it takes it back to being white, but everything else stays the same. We should be good. I don't need the Appearance Package. I want mine to be white. So let's keep on rolling. Oh, this is dope. I'm loving it. Now I sound like a McDonald's commercial. It's terrible. All right, so we're going into the interior. Do I need to go to the interior yet? Exterior options. We did that interior. Color, deep indigo. That's fine. Cloth seats. You know what? I want the Recaro seats, even though the Recaro seats will not be heated. Because Recaro seats are not connected to the same. Um, I don't think they're connected in the same way that the traditional kind of seats in a car are connected. So that's not going to be, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you want the Recaro seats, especially if you're going to take it to a track or you're going to do some different things in the car that you're not supposed to do, right? Uh, let's keep on flipping through this. You see the badging on the side of this thing, man? This gives me the same kind of... You know how when you see people with the, the demons and the Hellcats and stuff like that, always like to look at those Hellcats, man, because you see that logo and you know it's something special. They actually came up with a Dark Horse logo, and now you can't see it that great here. Hopefully they show it close up, because I'm not worried about all the rest of this stuff. Radio type upgrade, the surround audio upgrade. Where are we on pricing? Because I want this to... Where's the perfect picture? Oh, yeah. We got to stay with that. I wish you could zoom on it. Can I zoom on this? Can't zoom on it. But you got that interior. I guess we can look at the interior. Because I got the Recaro seats now. And that's perfect. Let's switch that out. And go to the interior. Ooh. Man, holy cow, look at the size of the screen. It's all one piece. This looks like an electric vehicle. Ah, there goes that stick. That's the manual. Little details here. Handbrake. Haven't seen a handbrake in a long time. That's dope, too. I love these seats. I like this 360. This is this is actually pretty cool. No sunroof. You don't need a sunroof when you go this fast. Who? Who cares about a sunroof when you have a car that looks like this? The car itself is the sunroof. It's all the flex you need in life, right? Let's check this, oh. You know what, let me back out of that and let me go through it this way. And that's dope. That's really cool. It gets to the interior where you see the Recaro seats. It's a four seater and the powertrain. It's really cool, big Brembo brakes. Calipers, oh wow. This, this is um, $86,640, still rings up less than a Corvette. Well, right about the same price as a Corvette. But man, that is a fantastic car. Um, I really want to show you the dark horse the dark horse badging. Now, why did they not allow us 360 is still just the interior why didn't they allow us to really look at the badging because the dark horse badging is incredible but that's it i just wanted to wrap that up i'm i'm, I'm clapping loud i don't need to i'm gonna end it on this shot because that's perfect it's dope um love mustangs man i really love mustangs but you can't put a hundred pair of sneakers in a mustang just wouldn't work and I carry around too many sneakers to do that man but one of these days I'll simply be able to live on the website and you guys will be you know I'll be doing shows and stuff like that and job you know conferences and I'll be able to drive and pull up in my dark horse rev the engine spin out and say peace see you guys on the next one and uh, that's it. It's just a fun video. I just thought it would be a cool video to do.